welcome back for another video this is Val and welcome back what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna do a simple but tasty little recipe escobit salt fish with some festival all right so I'm gonna have my salt fish I'm gonna stuff them up everything so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put all this together come let me show oh no this is my salt fish already soak it Soak all the salt, guys, from overnight until now, morning, now, even afternoon. I'm just ready, <laughs> just ready for it. So now I'm gonna fry it and make my sauce. Right, you see them two peppers here. I'm gonna dust them out the freezer because I saw me keep my peppers. Make them serve me long. I'm gonna have carrot, I'm gonna have a pinch of sugar, a teaspoon of sugar, I have some pimento seed, I have a onion. A vinegar, what for have a vinegar? So I'm gonna clean the salt fish, tight up on some little scale. We never get off all of them, all the scale, but we don't know how to do the right thing. Yeah, right. See so if we can get out as much bones as we can. Guys, we cannot get out all the bones, you know, but we have to try and get out some, right? And I'm gonna show you the sizes that I'm gonna cut the fish. I will have to have some because nice because you know size, you know. Yeah. Try to see if I can get out the bone here, cause it's can um, and we can leave it, you know, can leave it in, but. Just kind of take it out, get it out. I want it really mash up because I want it, you know. So, this is yeah, that good. Size like these, that can fry as is. I'll get it, man. I'll get it. So, when you're cooking a salt fish, guys, if you can do it out, not boiling out the fish, your salt fish, just try and soak it. Right? If you're gonna do a, um, do a recipe and have time, you can soak it from overnight. Or if you're going to work, just soak it in the morning and when it come on. Because the flavor, when you boil it, guys, the flavor, you don't have that nice salt fish flavor anymore try it if you always always boiling a fish your salt fish just try it just soak it and you, and you see the difference it make yes so that is what i did what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna make get this bone stay we don't really want the boneless salt fish you know you know we never want all, a lot of bone but this now let's not make it stay as is so we have to get out most of the moisture before we start frying the fish all right so I'm gonna cut out my season, get all my seasonings together. All right, guys, let this part sit.
I'm gonna start frying the fish now, the salt fish. You have to make sure you want them dry. You know you want to cut dry them, you don't want them crispy and nice. Right? The salt is fried, I'm frying the salt is still sweet in a mouth. Sweet. Well guys, from the that fun down line you have right now, it's so nice. It's got flavor, it really need the rain. Really need the rain man, trust me, for the place is so hot. Frying the salt fish, I'm gonna make the pickle for it now. Alright? A small amount of the same oil that I use on fried the salt fish. I'm just gonna use that same oil and just start to saute the vegetables. Put in the first. I don't use garlic and sea pepper in my escovitch. Okay? Let's do the same way almost the old time people them go up and see the old time people them do it. Some of us go up and do the same way. I don't change and I don't add. I don't add and I don't take away anything. And my stuff comes out perfect. Just feeling now them translucent and things coming apart. So you can just easily now. I'm gonna use I use a small amount of vinegar, about a quarter cup of vinegar. Guys, the reason for the sugar, the reason for the sugar is just to bring the flavors together and the sugar especially, just to calm down the vinegar. You know the vinegar kind of strong, it has an acidic taste like, so you just use the sugar to just smooth out the vinegar. And the salt, now the pinch of salt, just make, let all the flavors come together. Yes. So we can just let this sit now for a couple of minutes, five minutes, and cover it. And let it see. Let all the flavors come nicely together. All right. Yes. Onions are still crunchy. It tastes so nice. It's sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Nice, man. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'm just gonna place the fish. 
fish now to get the sauce. Finger food in a guy so it really matter. My hands clean, my hands are clean. Right? So again for watching thank you all for always coming back so guys this is my final dish right my escovit salt fish and my festival i have a video coming out soon and how to fry a perfect jamaican style festival so salt for this so please subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up and bye.